The book, Bless Me Ultima, was written in 1972 and had been optioned for film numerous times despite their efforts. No producer was ever able to take this vision to the big screen. When no one else could, Christie was able to illuminate the written words on the page with heartbeats, voices, faces, and souls. Here's her story. Tonight we present the President's Award to a person whose tenacity, strength, boldness of vision, and eloquence in the face of innumerable obstacles led her to bring to the screen one of contemporary literature's greatest stories. Christy Walton's determined and unwavering personal conviction in filming Bless Me Ultima demonstrates her powerful commitment and deep appreciation of la cultura. It's the movie wanted to be made. That's the way I feel about it. And the people who have come into this film have come to be in this movie because, in a way, this movie called them. I was given the book by a good friend right after it was first published. Um, so I would say I read it many, many years ago. I loved it. I read it again with our son when he was in sixth grade. And we took turns reading it and talking about it. I had an experience, uh, a near-death experience as it were. And when I realized how easy it was to die, I had a few questions about some things. My bucket list, what do I want to see happen? I said, I really want to see this book made into a movie. Ultima reminded me of my own grandmother, very tied to nature. With Ultima and Antonio, you have the beginning and emerging life, and you have the transition out of this life. What I hope that they get, a feeling of the eternalness of things. They come away with making our own decisions and finding our own way. And that's a good thing. 